as you watch the greatest nation in the world run by scum like this who don't have a high school education, who wouldn't know how to write a composition without a whole paper of red ink. This is our future. This is your portion. This is your lot. America, God, God forgive you for what you're doing to this country. And all the Tea Party activists, and all you loud mouths in the Republican Party, take a good look at this religion of peace. Look at the hate on their faces. Look at their twisted expressions. Look at their malevol ma malevolent and diabolical ways. Listen to what they say, watch what they say. Because for the first time in America, you're hearing the real truth. You're not gonna hear the truth out of, the, out of your pews anymore. You're not gonna hear the truth out of your church anymore. You will only hear lies from the church. These punks, these rappers and gangbangers, these low level, near do wells they have the truth for you. Listen to them. You communists rabble over there, there will come a day, there are Americans waiting silently, you don't know who they are. There will come a day when you're gonna pack your bags and leave this country at the point of a gun. That day will come right before we give up our country. I promise you that day will come. I was told not to come here today. I was told don't even think of getting out of your car. I was told that you scum would prevent me from exercising my first amendment rights. I was told go back to hell you stinking Jew. I was told go back to Auschwitz with your six million brothers you lousy stinking Jew. My message to you low level scum, you miscreants, malevolent diabolical punks. I am here and God bless America and the only reason I can come here today is because of what you seek to destroy. The Constitution of the United States of America. That's the only reason I could come here today. And this, this America is what these punks want to abandon. This is what they want to cast asunder. This is what they want to abolish. And you sit home and watch them. I recently spoke in England I was told, oh, all of a sudden you're quiet. Why would that be? I guess you just burned out. Yelling all day long instead of working. Does anybody here work? Now you've said a lot of four letter words to me today. One of them you haven't said and that's work. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I was taken on a little tour a tour of peace and love in London. I was taken to the no-go zones in London. And I asked my English Defense League brothers and sisters, what's a no-go zone? Oh, Rabbi, you are not up with the times. A no-go zone is where Jews and Christians cannot enter for fear of life and limb being lost. That's a no-go zone. Well, I promise you, you're gonna see some people that you don't like in your communities, because we have the right to go wherever the hell we please in this country, because we're Americans. I want everybody here that believes in America and God to say now, God bless America! I'm always amazed whenever I go to speak at these 
unbelievably innocuous, insane, fictitious demos like this. David. David. I'm always amazed at the fervor and the energy and the bravado of these low-level maniacs that you see before you. And I ask myself, where are the gays, the lesbians? Where are the radical gay and lesbian groups? Where are the Christian groups? Where are the Sikhs, the Coptic Christians? Where are they? Are these the only people that care about their cause? Is our cause so low and so vacuous of any worth that we can barely get 20 people and most of them are senior citizens? I'm always amazed that Americans are so cavalier about their heritage. This is a tragedy, an American tragedy. And I'll tell you where it comes. I'll tell you where this tragedy comes from. I've been teaching for 25 years in America's school, <laughs> not in a religious school. I've been teaching your children in a secular American high school. And I can tell you the reason that these low-level miscreants are here today is because your students, your children, have no concept of what it's like to be an American. They have no concept of the value and the beauty of our Constitution. Where our history books, 